So can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. It is. And I so recorded this. Recording in progress. Okay. Can you see my slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hi and uh, welcome to the this class and in this class I will try to discuss about the how you can easily measuring the carbon storage from a space it means that how you can easily measure the carbon storage using the remote sensing technique in Google Earth Engine platform so mainly in this uh, class I also try to show you that uh, all of the process and how you can easily make the carbon storage chart over a period of time for a, any specific region okay so here you can see this is the map for carbon storage map of Bangladesh and I will do this map in Google Earth Engine platform uh, in a specific period of time and this is the another task for the time series chart of carbon storage so in a, a specific time period we also try to cover all of the things one by one so first of all, uh, process of measurement the carbon storage in Google Earth Engine platform or what's the algorithm of the measurement of the carbon storage. So first of all, in here we use the MODIS satellite imagery. So mainly we use here the MODIS two product. First product is the NPP and second product is the GPP and NPP it is the net primary productivity it provide you the net flux of carbon okay it provide you the net flux of carbon from the atmosphere into green plants per unit time we can easily get from the npp product and another product is the gpp so it's the gross primary production it's combine of npp and cellular respiration okay so mainly we use the two product for measuring the carbon storage any particular uh, area any particular time and yeah. NPP or net primary productivity you can get this uh, uh, images for every year okay uh, for every year we can get the images or product but when you want to work with the GPP or gross primary production you can get the every eight day okay so in this time you can see first in PP we can get the uh, data or product for every year and the GPP yeah. we can get the product for every eight day so in this time we also need to convert the NPP also eight day okay because this NPP yeah. is the net primary productivity and it uh, net flux of carbon okay it also it provide you the net flux of carbon of the atmosphere into green plants per unit time so in this time this is the equation and this equation we use for get the calculated the net primary productivity into a day using the GPP product okay so mainly this is the algorithm for how you can use this algorithm we also try to show you that in the coding part how you can easily make the code over all of the things and calculated the uh, NPP so actually this NPP it provide you the net flux of carbon from the atmosphere into green plants per unit time okay you can get this carbon but in the time we also need to the GPP but you can see NPP we can get the every year data but GPP provide you the eight day but in this time we also need to check the data uh, for the carbon storage every eight day so that's why we simply uh, this equation we implement this equation in our code and we can get also every e eight day interval data for carbon storage okay so let's see so for the what's the process for coding for measurement of the carbon storage what's the process so first of all you need to import the two product of MODIS in your code editor first product is the net primary production this is the MODIS product we can get this uh, data uh, 
is year and another data set is the gross primary production or gross primary productivity it all 8 day ok we can 8 day global and this resolution is the 500 meter ok first of all you need to import these two data set in your code editor ok after this you need to selecting your ROI or your region of interest what uh, uh, what's the reason you want to uh, measurement of the carbon storage you select your ROI ok second you filter your period uh, how much you, you can easily uh, when, when you need this data or, or when you uh, your observation time you filter this ok and secondly you need to calculate it the net primary production a day because we can get the data set in one year ok yearly data set we can get in modis net primary production we can get the yearly but in this time yeah. we need to get this data set a day so we need to calculate this ok we need to calculate it and after this we need to make the time series chart using this data set ok and if you want you can also uh, export this image as a tip format ok and work with dark map or QGIS software easily ok so this is the procedure for coding so now we will move to the coding and uh, try to show you the practically uh, one by one so that I hope you can easily understand ok so I will move go to my code editor I just open my code